Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through configuring connection limits on the Big IP using Local Traffic Manager. First we're going to go ahead and take a look at the virtual server we have set up. In this case for demo purposes I have an Exchange 2016 443 listener. And currently you'll notice we have no connection limit set and we have no eviction policy configured. Now in order for connection limits to function correctly, you need to configure a eviction policy. In order to get there, you need to go to system, configuration, local policy, eviction policy list. And in this case, we're just gonna use the default, but we did I did wanna review. So let's take a look. In this case, we are going to evict or purge or reap the connections based on the on idle connections as well as the oldest. So again, we're just gonna use that for default, but you can configure your own to utilize some of these other options here. So let's go back to our virtual server. And we're going to configure a connection limit. And because I just have a small server and not a ton of resources, I'm just gonna set our connection limit to 10. And we're gonna go and select the default eviction policy and we're going to click update. Now from there we're going to go ahead and go over to my Kali Linux box and we're going to run a command to attempt multiple connections to this virtual server. So let's go back to our big IP statistics virtual server and you'll notice here a maximum of 10 connections And now let's go ahead and disable that to show you just based on this one command how many connections would be allowed. One other thing to note when you do configure a connection limit, you will receive an availability error such as this. And when using just LTM and not AFM, there is a larger potential to impact valid traffic or users actually trying to access your your virtual server. I say this is a start to protecting yourself against a DDoS attack. However, I highly recommend integrating AFM or Advanced Firewall Manager for advanced functions just to prevent those bad actors while allowing your typical users or your valid users to access your service. So let's go ahead and go back down to connection limit. We're going to go ahead and change it back to zero and we're going to eviction policy none click update and let's make sure we're still running yep we're still running here and take a look at our statistics and you'll notice here now maximum connections is 673 with a whole lot of current connections all right so just for your understanding when you do configure connection limits what happens to that traffic that's not able to reach this service when they have reached that max limit? The Big IP will start sending resets to those requests. Well, as I mentioned, this is just a demonstration of LTM's capability to restrict connections or the number of connections to your virtual servers. However, AFM is still the recommended route. I hope this was beneficial to someone. Until next time.